Hey third graders, I'm missing you all so much right now and I can't wait to see you soon. The materials you're going to need to complete your work for each day is a pencil, pen, crayon, or marker, anything you have at home that you can write with. You're also going to need a notebook, but if you don't have a notebook, complete your work for each day on a piece of paper. We're going to start off by discussing the Chapter 1 Adaptations in Land Environment and Vocabulary and also the Big Idea. The Big Idea for Chapter 1 is what are adaptations and how do they help living things survive? We're going to have to think about this question throughout our readings this whole week. Our first vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic Tundra. Arctic Tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our first vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Your purpose for reading today is to be able to explain what a forest is. What is a forest? A forest is a biome that has many trees. There are different kinds of forests in different places around the world. Tropical rainforests can be found near the equator. Tropical rainforests are, most, are almost always hot and wet. A temperate forest has four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Summers are warm and wet. Winters can be cold and dry. These forests are found in North America, Europe, and Asia. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be completing today's writing sprint by answering the question, what is a forest? You're going to write a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we read. Now onto our vocabulary study. On your paper or in your notebook, you're going to be writing down the word forest. Then you're going to be looking back into the text to find the meaning of the word. Then you're going to write the sentence where the word is highlighted in yellow. Then you're going to draw a picture of the word forest. Then you're going to tell me whether it is a noun verb, adjective, or adverb, and finally you're going to give me a synonym or a similar word. On a piece of paper or in a notebook, write the number of each line.
Look back at the read aloud to find the missing words. Write the missing words next to the number on your paper or in your notebook. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. The first vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to explain what adaptations help forest plants survive? What adaptations help forest plants survive? Forest plants grow in layers. Plants in each layer have adapted to get the light and water they need to live. In a tropical rainforest, tall trees have special roots that help keep them up. Some shorter plants have leaves with tips to get rid of extra water. Plants on the ground have large leaves that help them get sunlight. There are two kinds of trees in a temperate forest. One kind has leaves that fall off when the seasons turn cool. The other stays green all year long. Both have adapted to survive the cold, dry winter. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be completing today's writing sprint to answer the question, what adaptations help forest plants survive? You're going to be writing a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we read. Now on to our seat work. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, write the number of each line. Look back at the read aloud to find the missing words. Write the missing words next to the number on your paper or in your notebook. Summarize the main idea in a few sentences for number 16. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. First vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to explain how animals survive in a tropical rainforest. How do animals survive in a tropical rainforest? Tropical rainforests have more kinds of animals than anywhere else. Their adaptations help them stay safe. Some bright, colorful animals use poison to stay safe. Their color warns other animals to stay away. An animal that attacks might get poisoned. 
Some animals in tropical rainforests can run fast to get away from danger. Others climb high in the trees or swim to be safe. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. Some animals use mimicry to blend in with their environment. The color and body shape of a mantis make it look like a flower. Now on to our writing sprint. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be completing today's writing sprint to answer the question, how do animals survive in a tropical rainforest? You're going to be writing a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we read. Now on to our vocabulary study. First, you're going to write the word mimicry. Then you're going to look back into the text to find the meaning of the word. Then, you're going to write the sentence where the word is highlighted in yellow. Then, you're going to draw a picture of the word. Then, you're going to tell me whether the word is a noun, a verb, an adjective, or an adverb. Finally, you're going to give me a synonym or a similar word. Now, on to seat work. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to write the number of each description. Then, you are going to write the letter of the word from the word bank that goes with each definition. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. First vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. Our purpose for reading today is to be able to explain how animals survive in a temperate forest. How do animals survive in a temperate forest? Animals in the temperate forest need to, sur need to survive cold weather. Their adaptations help them. Some grow heavy coats in winter to stay warm. Some eat more or store food for the winter. Others sleep through the coldest months. Animals in the temperate forest need to stay safe. Their adaptations help them survive. A skunk can spray other animals. The spray smells and stings their eyes. A porcupine has many sharp quills. These can hurt an animal that tries to attack. Most animals will leave the porcupines alone. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, you're going to be completing today's writing sprint to answer the question, how do animals survive in a temperate forest? You're going to be writing a quick summary of today's reading in your own words. I want to know what you remember about what we've read. Now on to our seat work. On a piece of paper or in your notebook, Write the number of each missing space. Then, write the missing words next to the number on your paper or in your notebook. Seat work was our final task for today. See you tomorrow. First vocabulary word is environment. An environment is all the living and non-living things in a place. Our second vocabulary word is biome. A biome is a place with certain kinds of living and non-living things. Our third vocabulary word is adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or way of acting that helps a living thing survive. Our fourth 
vocabulary word is desert. A desert is a place with hot, dry weather. Our fifth vocabulary word is migrate. Migrate is to move from one place to another. Our sixth vocabulary word is grassland. A grassland is a place with many grasses. Our seventh vocabulary word is forest. Forest is a place with many trees. Our eighth vocabulary word is mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. And our last and final vocabulary word for chapter one is Arctic tundra. Arctic tundra is a cold place above the Arctic Circle. To finish up this week, I want you to tell me what you know. You're going to be answering the question, what are adaptations and how do they help living things survive? You're going to be writing a paragraph. Don't forget, paragraphs have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend.